Hey guys, welcome back to Auto Repair guys, thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. In today's video guys, we will be working on a Ford Focus MK3 guys. This is the third generation Ford Focus from year 2012 to year 2019. And we will show you guys how to remove or how to replace your radiator. Stay with us, we are going to cover everything from start to finish. Uh, quick introduction guys, we will have more than 200 videos on Ford Focus and more than 200 videos on every car we get at the shop. Why we do all that? Because our mission at the shop is to save you guys as much money as we can. So please guys subscribe to the channel and like the video hopefully you will find the information helpful now every time you guys remove the radiator you have to drain the coolant so stay with us we'll show you guys uh, how to drain the coolant what's the correct way to do it you have to do it only when the car is extremely cold so let it sit overnight otherwise you can severely hurt yourself guys another thing guys uh, if you need to buy new radiator or parts check out the link in the description of the video below you can see where you can purchase them for a super good price and fast shipping as well so there are actually two ways to remove those guys one is uh, together with the condenser and the active grill shutter or separate guys just the radiator but we're going to go ahead and remove everything together so we can explain how to disassemble them because otherwise in the vehicle it's impossible to do that so stay with us let's go ahead and start on it now so we need a torx 30 guys okay torx 30 start looking bit okay and we're going to go ahead and start uh, removing screws underneath Okay, you can see one, two, then we have uh, one more in the other corner there. Okay, two screws, uh, three screws so far guys. Now, we have more that we need to remove. We're going to start from the passenger side now. One, two, three on the front, three in the rear, three in the front guys. So now, okay let's explain now. You grab it and you pull it forward, pull it forward and drop it down. You can see just like that. And this is guys your engine here. And we just, we just found out that we have an oil leak from the uh, from the rear crankshaft seal right there so we'll have a video how to fix that one as well you should have two more guys in the corners one there and one on the other side but two are missing ours are missing and the screws what they look like okay just like this one so you can see you can get an idea what it looks like now and that's where your oil filter is located and bottom of the engine as well so now, how you guys remove the other cover? Okay, you're supposed to have a clip removal too guys and you're supposed to have two clips now. Those two clips will be right there, one there, one in the corner. Ours are completely missing guys, we don't have them. And so we need to start removing screws. You can see on the other side, okay, in front of the wheel we have two of them, okay, that we need to remove. And uh, once we remove these two, we come towards the middle. Okay, everything's very muddy on that engine. Let's do this too, towards the wheel. Perfect, now. We just have, I think, one more. You might have dust and sand stuck there, so be careful guys, always wear eye protection as well grab it now guys okay and you pull that cover down okay just like that and now that's where your radiators are the active grill as well radiator fan all that is here and that's the lower radiator support and uh, the drain plug for the radiators as well so you can see that's how we remove the engine covers so every time guys you drain the coolant what you need to do you need to make sure that uh, the car is not hot you did not drive the car let it sit overnight at least for one night guys so the coolant can get cool because otherwise if you're trying to drain the system or open the radiator cap uh, if it's hot it's under pressure it can uh, sprain your eyes even when it's cold it could be under pressure so always be careful and wear eye protection but hot coolant guys can severely hurt you as well so coolant is very poisonous if you spill anywhere always clean it because if you have uh, if uh, people consume, consume that or animals pets guys it kills them it's uh, super toxic so our car is very cold it's we haven't driven it since last night so we're going to open okay the coolant reservoir We'll remove the radiator cap now. 
Perfect. Okay, it's out. So we go under the car, guys. On the left side now, we have the car jacked up. Okay. And right there, that's where your drain plug is located. Check it out. So this drain plug, either you get it with a flat uh, screwdriver, big screwdriver, and it's going to drain from right here, so you have to be careful so it dra doesn't drain on you. Or you guys uh, turn it by hand, but flat, big flat head screwdriver, guys, it's going to work out. It just goes directly inside of it. Okay, right here. And if you get a little bitty hose, you can install actually the hose and it will drain. Uh, it will drain in a container that you have. That way you're not going to make a mess. So we'll get a hose. Okay, you can see like this one, it's going to fit great. We're going to plug it in, so that way we don't make a mess, guys. And we'll get a flat head screwdriver, okay, right there. And there is one canal. Okay, it's uh, super, super windy today, by the way. Okay, one canal where the screwdriver goes in. And then you just start turning. Turn, 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 and check it out. Okay, and we let it drain, guys. That's it. Don't remove the whole thing because you're going to make a big mess. And we'll just let it drain for about 5 to 10 minutes and everything should be out of there. And let me check on top. Probably, yep, coolant reservoir is already empty here. So make sure, guys, you stay until the end. We're going to show you a trick how to uh, effectively actually drain the coolant and how to get more coolant out of the engine because by flushing it, draining the radiator, you will not always get everything out of the engine. So, while it's draining guys on the bottom, okay, let me explain to you quick. It's almost stopping guys, check it out, barely, barely going, almost nothing. Now, if we remove one of the caps here, okay, that cap, let me turn the light on, quick, just squish it on the bottom, on the back side, gently pull it out, I dropped it, but it's okay. Now, get the air compressor, okay, we have the air compressor, and we're going to blow air, Okay, through that hole and check out what's going to happen. Okay, let's do that now. Okay, check out how much more guys we're getting out of the engine. Okay, let me move the bucket just a little bit. Okay, perfect. And that way guys, we can get most of it out. Okay, check out, we just got even more. So that's definitely helping, helping it come out. We're uh, blowing at low pressure now. We're blowing at about 20 PSI. And even the system is ready to stay at about 21. So we don't need uh, much gas, but definitely helped us get more. And we're going to install the cap now. So we're going underneath now. And <laughs> we're going to go ahead. Okay, it stopped, uh, it stopped coming out. So let's just get the screwdriver in, okay, and we just get it tight, guys. Okay, perfect. Don't over tighten it. Okay, that's it. Great, and we're going to remove the hose, and we're going to get all the coolant that we got out of the car, and you will see, okay, you will see how much it is in just a second. So let's, uh, let's pull the container out, and we're going to see what it looks like. This is original coolant, 149,000 miles. So still not too bad. Okay, a little bit. Okay, a little bit murky, but not bad. Uh, we'll definitely be replacing it. Now guys, when you refill your system, it's very important to bleed the cooling system the correct way. We will have the video on the channel. That explains how to bleed your cooling system the correct way. Otherwise guys, you can overheat the car and you can damage your engine and end up needing either a new engine or the old engine rebuilt. We get guys a flathead screwdriver. Let me explain now. This is your air filter box right here guys. So what we need to do, okay, that Right here is your MAF sensor, you need to unlock the red pin, okay, safety pin, grab it and pull up guys, okay, check it out like that. And you push right here and you disconnect it. Now, you have one clip that you need to remove with a clip removal too, okay, perfect, just like that. It's disconnected now, it's not there. After that guys, we need to get a screwdriver, flathead screwdriver, and we need to get that screw loose there. This is for the intake boot. Now you have to be careful when you remove it to make sure that you don't break any of the vacuum lines as well. So be extremely guys careful how you do that. So we need to get it a little bit more loose. It wasn't loose enough to come out. 
it will be a tight fit guys okay perfect it came loose so what we need to do after that right here we're going to pull okay like that and now guys what we'll need to do we need to grab that box okay that box should not have any screws guys okay this box it should be to where you just uh, you just grab it and pull it out okay you will have a clip on the back side one right there okay one clip there you have a couple more here so once we pull it out i'll be able to explain okay where that clip is located all the clips actually okay now right here we need to disconnect the rubber bushing from that pipe okay perfect now we lift it up where are all the clips okay let's explain now you have one right there okay this is towards the back side facing the box this way okay one here and one over there and one towards the front where they attach to one here you have that's uh, the where it gets air from one here that's where the water actually drains one here one there and one over there guys you can see this is if the engine gets water i think it's called like resonator or something like that it's supposed to drain there so it doesn't get in the engine but if you drive through high water you're going to end up guys sucking water in the engine and probably ruining your engine anyway so we got the air filter box out of the way so with 10 millimeter socket guys we're going to remove now okay one bolt for that uh, uh, lower part of the air filter box right there so let's go ahead and remove that now okay perfect and it's out of the way we gain more room to the radiator fan radiators here and everything in the way so in the meantime guys we'll be making a few videos how to remove replace radiators you can just uh, remove and re uh, remove the whole radiator assembly with the fan and everything out of the way but in our case we will do them one at a time so depending guys okay what you're needing now also make sure guys you disconnect your car battery because the radiator fan is right there and if your fingers get stuck in it and for some reason it decides to turn on because you break a wire or something it could happen guys your fingers will be there and uh, as a result guys it can cut your fingers off or your hands so be extremely careful we already disconnected ours now what we need to do right here guys uh, we need to go ahead and remove okay that uh, wire okay let me get a little bit of light perfect okay i press in here and pull out okay let me show you where now okay right there press in pull out now guys we have that clip holding the cable to the radiator fan with the clip removal too we are trying to pop it loose okay perfect what do we have now guys okay we have two guides holding the fan towards the radiator okay one here and one exactly like that on the other side however now we need to go on the bottom guys underneath and we'll show you guys okay what we need to do there okay right there you can see the radiator fan on the side okay here there is one tube once we remove it we'll show you even better that tube you need to press it in with a screwdriver okay right there and while you're pressing it in i'm going to pull it on top okay to come out okay and it came out guys now we need to do exactly the same thing on the other side so let me go to the passenger side now we're going to do the same thing there so grab the fan one person releases the tooth okay it came up now let me show you guys what else we need to do we need to come okay on this side and we need to lift the fan until it comes out of the guide okay on this side is out all the way the other side as well and now we start dropping it guys okay now there is insulation here let me let me get it loose okay this insulation is between the fan okay in between the fan and the radiator as well okay almost almost there okay perfect now we're hitting a little bit on the radiator holes okay right there but now it should come out and you just pull it from underneath guys okay check it out now 
radiator fan is out guys so that's how we removed it out of the car let me show you what we were pressing here okay with the screwdriver so you know what to expect right here guys okay this is the clip on the bottom so you need to press it in with the screwdriver while one person is pulling it up and the same clip on the other side two clips on the bottom and two just guides on top and that's how we removed it out of the way so now right here we have one little bitty hose the overflow bottle hose okay i'm trying to get a little bit of a view but it's almost impossible there are two things that you squish and you pull it out okay and that thing is stuck guys big time you don't want to break it <clears throat> because that's one expensive hose so eventually that thing will come out it has one clip there so okay let me show you what the hose looks like okay like this one guys like there okay and you squish these two parts and you okay pull it apart there is one o-ring that gets stuck really big time that's why it came out a little bit hard now we need to go underneath guys we need to get a 10 millimeter socket and we're going to remove the lower radiator support okay make sure that uh, coolant guys okay the coolant is drained and all that okay so now guys what do we have here okay we have a few clips that we need to disconnect okay this is for the uh, i think one is for the active grill shutter we'll see so just pull them out of the radiator support okay almost came out perfect this one is out guys now we need to disconnect it from there as well okay on the inside you can see almost out and now we have the one on top there that we need to disconnect perfect underneath we have the bolts for the lower radiator support now 10 millimeter socket and we're going to remove a few bolts but we need to get uh, a ratchet or extension guys a new battery for the impact because it's a little bit cold in the shop and it died okay those things are extremely tight by the way okay we got a little bit longer extension that way okay we can have a little bit more okay reach because it's not as easy to uh, reach the upper bolts okay for that lower radiator support we got them loose we'll try to use the impact now and see what's going to happen if it's going to uh, help some you can see where all the bolts are they have a little bit of rust that's what the boat looks like second one okay now guys uh, same thing okay like what we did here we need to do to the other side so i'm going to switch places now okay give me a second and i'll go to to the passenger side of the vehicle passenger side let's remove a few things here so you can see okay right there so one of them is missing here oh no no it's on the back or oh, it's missing i no no it's good it's good it's towards the back i cannot just see it from that angle here so two bolts on each side
perfect now gently guys pull that thing out of the radiator on the bottom okay one is out now on the other side same thing okay perfect and the lower radiator support guys came out of the way okay just like that you can see so now guys we're ready to remove the radiator uh, we will remove it without the ac condenser this is the radiator on the front okay that uh, actually holds the free on so you can remove both of them together but in that case if you remove both of them together you have to guys drain your ac system you cannot just let the free on out because that's illegal and it can cost you a big fine guys and you're killing the atmosphere it's not good for your health too so you either have to remove the free on by vacuuming the system and most shops can do that for a very uh, very very minimum price or you can guys disconnect the AC condenser and the radiator and remove the radiator only so that's what we'll be attempting now so now we have very limited room i won't be able to show you anything guys with the camera so what we decided to do we're going to remove the radiator and the condenser at the same time so that way we can show you guys with great detail okay where everything is once we get them out of the car otherwise it's impossible guys for us to stick that camera in such limited room so we need to get a 13 millimeter socket our ac system is already drained if it's not drained guys if you remove those lines it will be super uh, enormous amount of pressure it can hurt you blind you guys so you have to be careful AC system needs to be completely empty when you do that so let's remove it slow because we still had a little bit of free on guys so okay let's go ahead and remove it you have to be extremely careful when you remove it to make sure that you still don't have any pressure left guys so let's go ahead take that okay a little bit came out just a little bit of pressure let's remove it yeah very little guys very little we just sprayed but that's it even though we vacuumed the system down we still have just a little bit of pressure so uh, you have two okay two lines that you need to remove one is the low pressure i think one is the high pressure line so okay check it out that's how it came out and now we have the other one that you need to remove it's towards the front guys so we need to tilt that thing the other way a little bit somehow okay i'll hold it like that okay and 10 millimeter socket there No, this one doesn't want to come loose too. Those are pretty, pretty tight, guys. But keep in mind that this is a higher mileage car. Okay, came loose. So now we should be able to do it with the impact. Okay. This one came loose as well, both of them came loose, the bolt fell underneath, okay let me grab it quick, okay you can see where the bolt is, right there, we dripped a little bit of oil guys, so we're loose on that side, we just pull the radiators, the whole assembly down, we have two hoses, uh, two radiator hoses to disconnect, okay one will be on this side, so if we grab the radiator and pull it a little bit to the passenger side, okay let's see if we can do that, we, sh we might be able to reach that hose guys okay with the pliers okay let's see with the other ones if we if we can remove that hose clamp because this one is on a very weird angle i don't know if it's been removed before or not or it just that way so okay let me let me try that now nope we have to do it with the other pliers probably so we have the coolant removed now too guys okay you can see almost almost came out okay i'm going to grab the the hose to hold it steady for the person that is removing the clamp mm. 
never stick your fingers under the hose clamp because when it releases that thing is going to snap. Okay, it's almost out. We're about to jump the leap. Okay, let me actually give okay these pliers right there, the other pair. We'll try with the vice grips. This is one tough clamp guys. Really, really tough hose clamp. So let's try with the other pliers, right there. Okay, perfect. It came loose, guys. No? We'll go ahead and remove the other one on the other side, okay, before we remove that one because we'll still leak some coolant. So I will not disconnect it until we remove the other hose, guys. Let me show you where the other hose is located now. Okay, it's located. Okay, let's get in here. It's located right there. Okay, where, uh, where it uh, goes in an angle, you can kind of see it. Okay, perfect. So what we're going to do now, eye protection always guys, gloves because that's coolant. We'll go ahead and pull the hoses out. Okay, you can see we did leak some out. Okay, perfect. Now we're going to go to the other side. We're going, I'm going to grab this one, okay? We're ready now. Okay, it's coming out, almost there. Okay, we'll leak coolant out, so be careful now. Okay, not much, perfect. Now, okay, let me come right here, guys. Okay, the radiator assembly will come out. Okay, you can see just like that. So, what we thought guys that we can remove the radiator only, I don't think it's possible because we have the active grill shutter on the front and that active grill shutter actually guys, okay, mounts to the radiator, okay, and between that is the, con uh, the AC condenser, the other radiator. So, we practically guys were not able, to, we will not be able to disconnect them. Uh, without removing the active grill shutter and that could be okay that could be a little bit tricky so uh, we'll go ahead and see how to do that now and we'll see if you can do it in the car but probably the easiest thing is to remove everything together and do it outside i don't say that it's not possible but probably it will be easier that way so how you guys disconnect the active grill shutter from the radiator is pretty simple right there underneath let's lift it up a little bit so i can show you there is one tooth guys Okay, one tooth that you need to press in with a screwdriver and when you press it in, okay, what you're going to do, okay, you're going to lift it up. So I think this can be done in the vehicle, guys. I don't know if you have enough room on top, but I think you will. Same thing applies, okay, to this side, now right here. This is where the tooth is, okay, and you can see actually it came out pretty easy, not as complicated as I thought it would be. So now we're going to show you how to separate the AC condenser from the radiator. Let's do that quick guys. What do you need to do now? Okay, get the both radiators and we have a few clips. Okay, one is right here on top. Okay, let us show you. That clip right here, you need to lift it up. And when you lift it up, you grab the condenser and you pull it out. Now a little bit, I think. Okay, like that. Now we have on the other side one more thing. Okay, let me explain where now and how to do that as well here you have a double clip one here one on the bottom so go ahead okay go ahead and spread it guys okay i'll hold it here with one hand now we're going to do the bottom one okay and we almost started coming out we just need to guys okay push it with the screwdriver a little bit because 
I think both sides got loose. The one on top is loose already. Okay, perfect. We just need to push it out. Okay, great. And now you lift the condenser out. You can see, not too complicated once everything is out, but in the vehicle it may be way, way more complicated. So, as you can see guys, that's how we remove the radiator. Now, what I recommend guys, uh, to always get Ford approved coolant guys, we'll have the link in the description of the video below. Also, if you need to purchase a new radiator, we'll have the link in the description of the video below guys. Uh, check it out, but always use approved radiator uh, coolant because otherwise, okay, uh, radiators, water pumps and all that can fall apart guys, so you don't want that to happen. Uh, I would recommend if you replace your radiator, replace your thermostats too. Check out the video, it's on the channel, we'll, we'll show you where it's located and how to do that as well guys. And uh, putting it together, practically it's in reverse order, we took it apart depending on which route you took, whether you remove the radiator only or radiator and condenser guys, it really depends how you went. So that's how you guys do it, if you need help with anything or have any questions, please leave a comment below, let us know. Thank you guys for watching, thank you for the support and see you guys next time.